eight myths about New Jersey busted. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. And this week I'm gonna have some fun. I'm actually gonna be breaking down and busting some of the top myths I hear all the time about New Jersey. I'm sure wherever you're from, whatever city, town, or state you're from, it comes with its own stereotypes and misconceptions, and really New Jersey is no different. Today, I'm gonna count down the top eight cringeworthy myths that I hear all the time about New Jersey. So let's get started. So myth number eight and myth number seven are actually related to each other. So myth number eight is that the entire cast of the Jersey Shore is actually from New Jersey. And myth number seven is that everybody in New Jersey is exactly like the cast of the Jersey Shore. For those of you that don't know, the Jersey Shore was a show that premiered back in 2009 on MTV. It followed a group of people around in a shore house in Seaside Heights, and it followed them throughout the summer of both working on the boardwalk and and living life as young adults with all of the partying and drama that goes along with it. Now for everybody that's from New Jersey or especially from that area, I actually grew up not that far from where this was filmed, this actually left a really sour taste in our mouth. For all the people that have never been to New Jersey or really never thought about what New Jersey was like, it has now been catapulted to pop culture through this group of people. So let me bust those two methods. Almost the entire cast of Jersey Shore is actually not from New Jersey. Most of them are from Staten Island and New York with exception to Dina and Sammy, who did grow up in New Jersey, and Polly D, who was from Providence, but everybody else was from New York. So to go back to um, the earlier myth that everybody is exactly like the cast of the Jersey Shore, well, I'm here to tell you that's just not true. That was a television show. New Jersey is so much different than just that small group of people. New Jersey is one of the most diverse states in the country. In fact, we rank number four for diversity. So I can promise you the only time you're gonna see people like the cast of the Jersey Shore is gonna be on TV. Myth number six, you can't make a left turn. So this goes back to one of the ways that you know you're from New Jersey if you know how to navigate a traffic circle or a jug handle. Um, but the truth is you can actually make left turns. Left turns do exist in New Jersey, I promise you. However, most of the time you can't make a U-turn from the left lane. Myth number five, it's called Joyzy. We do not call it Joyzy, we call it Jersey. And actually everybody that's from New Jersey cringes when they meet somebody outside of the state and they say, oh, you're from Joyzy. We kind of cringe. It's like that bad joke your uncle says at every holiday that you know is coming and you're going to cringe and you just hope that he doesn't say it. It's the same thing for us. So just don't say Joyzy. Myth number four, everybody from New Jersey is an Italian mobster. So like I said earlier, New Jersey is one of the most diverse states in the country. So of course we're not all Italian mobsters, despite what Hollywood and the show Sopranos would lead you to believe. Although everybody does seem to know a Tony and a Vinny. Myth number three, New Jersey is a bunch of highways and oil refineries. Now this myth really comes from one of the horrible nicknames New Jersey has, which is the armpit of America. Now that nickname was really coined because of the New Jersey Turnpike that runs from New York to Philadelphia. And if you drive on nothing but that turnpike, well then that really is all you see is highways and oil refineries. But I can promise you our state is so much more than that. We have beaches, we have farms, we have pinelands, we have wineries, we have breweries, we have mountains, we have hiking trails. The list really just goes on and on. Some of the most beautiful places in the entire country are right here in New Jersey. Things like the Palisades Cliffs, Wharton State Forest, the Old Barney Lighthouse in Barnegat Light, and the Patterson Great Falls. There's so many great sites and tourist attractions right here in New Jersey, so you definitely wanna check them out. Myth number two, central New Jersey just does not exist. Well, I'm here to tell you it does. Now this is a long standing debate here in New Jersey and where you fall on the topic really depends on where you grew up. If you grew up in the far South Jersey, there is no Central Jersey. Everything above the Driscoll Bridge is North Jersey. And if you grew up in North Jersey, everything below the Driscoll Bridge is South Jersey. But I'm here to tell you that if you live in or grew up in Central Jersey, then you will defend Central Jersey till your dying day. And I'm gonna make a whole video about this topic specifically, so keep an eye out for that. And the last myth on our list, number one, is that everywhere in New Jersey is overcrowded. Well, we do have some cities in our state that are quite crowded. However, the vast majority of the state is not a city. It's not like that. 
There's so much open and beautiful preserved space in our state. We're known as the Garden State for a reason. We have over 130 miles of Atlantic coastline and 44 public beaches for our residents to enjoy. Now yes, the beaches do get crowded for three months out of the year when it's high summer season, but the other nine months, nobody's there. And the year-round residents really know how to take advantage of that. We also have 50 state parks for everyone to enjoy. And did you know that 17% of all the land in New Jersey is farmland? That's a lot. And let's not forget the Pine Barrens. We have 22% of our state covered in preserved pine forest. So I can promise you if you're looking for somewhere in New Jersey for some peace and quiet, it's not gonna be hard to find. So thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video for you. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite myth was. Now, of course, there's so many other misconceptions and myths and rumors about New Jersey. I had to limit it to these top eight, which were my favorite. So if you have any other myths that you'd like to share or anything you'd like me to talk about in a future video, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And if you hadn't already done so, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I release new videos every week and I talk about all things related to New Jersey, buying, selling, investing, living, working, commuting, and everything else. And keep your eye out for a future video series where I'm gonna talk about you know you're from New Jersey if it's gonna be a fun one, so check that out. I'll see you next week.